Well, so today's question is, Harley, what do you do about sugar rush? How, how do you prevent this? Sugar rush. Well, what I do is I, I wear a bicycle helmet. I do it up. I get my glass. I get my, this is my blended cantaloupe or rock melon if you're in the southern hemisphere. Whoa. Try not to drop it on your lap. Hmm. I just drink that. This is breakfast. I already had my water this morning. When the sugar's, I can feel the sugar coming on now. Whoa, it's head spin. It's coming on strong. You always put the glass down. And then I normally collapse. I normally collapse for about 10 seconds. And then while we're in the helmet, perhaps you don't hit your head. And then, uh, starting to get conscious again, like semi-conscious. So that's how I deal with sugar rushes. Um, that's what works for me. You know, what, what works for me, not what works for you. I don't really know, I sort of sit on the fence, I don't really sort of say much. Um, I sort of say what impresses people, I don't really tell people what they need to hear. But seriously, sugar rush, when people eat fruit and they get a sugar rush, it's for a few reasons. First one, they're dehydrated. Most people don't drink enough water. They eat fruit, think, I don't need to drink water. You need to drink water. Wake up in the morning, have a litre of water. Even if you're having water on for breakfast. Or drinking coconut water for breakfast, have one litre of water before your breakfast. Two, they're eating high fat diets. People, I don't eat a high fat diet. Hardly, I'm, I'm low fat. I, eat, I, I use olive oil. Olive oil is low fat. And so olive oil is 100% fat. So when we're producing oil on our salads, you know, the body doesn't really recognize oil. It's just 100% pure refined fat with no water, carbohydrates, or protein or fiber. So it just sticks in our cells and it coats our insulin receptor sites. So when we consume some carbohydrates, sugar tries to go in the cell, it can't because it's getting blocked by excess fat. Blood sugar goes up, we get that sugar rush feeling. And then we get a bit of a crash. So people go, you know, you're up and down, up and down. You are if you're eating a high fat diet. Get rid of the oils, get rid of the animal products, Get rid of the excess nuts and seeds and avocado and have those nuts and seeds and avocado in, in minute amounts. To be objective, try and keep your fat intake under 10% of your total calories, not just in a day, but long term, over the months and the seasons. And you won't get the sugar rushes everyone talks about. And probably the third biggest factor is sleep. Most people don't get enough sleep. Why? Because we live in this crazy society that says, if you go to bed when the sun goes down, it means you're sick. I say, Staying up late means you're sick, you know, it's a sick habit to get into and it's going to make you sick eventually. So what I recommend, optimum health and sugar metabolic perfection is go to bed early. Try and go to bed when the sun goes down or at least, you know, close to that, 8 p.m. perhaps. I was watching a bird fly past the scent. Birds don't sit around late at night unless they're an owl. Most birds, unless they're nocturnal, when the sun goes down, they're down. So that's what I recommend is early to bed, early to rise. So that's my tip. Get your sleep, keep your fat intake low, get your stay hydrated, and you won't have these sugar rushes that people go on about. And another thing I'll squeeze in there is that people don't eat enough carbs because they're fearing carbohydrates, they're fearing fruit, or they're fearing you know starches or whatever. I prefer fruit. Fruit works better. Fruit works better for everybody. But I understand that most people don't live in a sort of a, a system where they want to eat fruit. And that's fair enough. But so eat your carbohydrates, get them in there. Because your body won't be able to produce enough serotonin if it doesn't have enough carbohydrates in its daily intake. Look it up on the internet. This is not like some MLM, you know, multi-level marketing, sales hype, metabolic type theory. This is medical, clinical fact. If you don't get enough carbohydrates, your body can't produce enough serotonin. And with some serotonin, we produce melatonin, and that helps us sleep. So then the next day, we get, you know, not enough sleep. We have some sugar, and we're like, oh my God, I have sugar again. I can't eat sugar. I need chaga. I need colostrum. I need, like, Rishi mushroom, I need all these things because I'm, and now I can't even stay awake. I need some cacao and maca to you know, modulate my hormones because I'm just so freaked out on my low carb, high fat, calorie restriction, breath aneurysm, wannabe diet that I didn't know what's going on. I listen to these people talking a lot but not even saying anything. And so it's easy to be confused when you're under carb. So don't ever fear the sugar, fear the life diet that makes us have reactions to sugar. You know, fear that animal products, fear those late nights, fear being dehydrated, fear being paranoid about 
you can't drink water because it's not, you know, from the Andes. Get rid of that. Drink the best quality water you can. It's more important to be hydrated than worry about your, your water quality. So if you think that's not true, I'll tell you what, my housemate died last year from worrying about water quality. She got food poisoning from eating raw animal products, so she did a fast to try and clean out. All she needed to do was just not eat them in the first place. But anyway, so she's fasting, gets worried about water quality, says, I'm not going to drink from pipes, you know, such and such says bad water's, you know, not too good for you. So she dehydrated herself, end up with renal failure, end up in hospital, in a coma, and unfortunately died, you know. So it's, now I talk this stuff because people need to freaking hear it, man. I, got, I remember going to a Dave Wolf talk last year, Dave Wolf's bag and plastic saying, never drink water from plastic, I'd rather dry fast than drink water that's in plastic. Then the next night I went to the cacao party. Guess what the cacao drinks were served in? Plastic. See what I mean? So it's, it's great, you know, minimize plastic, but don't avoid it. You know, don't dehydrate yourself to avoid drinking water in plastic, man. Drink the water. That's a priority. If it's chlorinated fluid out of water, it's better than being dehydrated. My housemate last year, if she drank four, four liters of chlorine, if you extra, add extra chlorine, extra fluoride, if she drank it, she'd still be alive today. She didn't. She's dead. I've seen friends end up in hospital, seen friends end up with chronic fatigue, become really obese because they're just so fatigued from trying to be water purists that they just don't drink any water, they shut down their exercise, they just get fat, go wacko, you know, so it's not good. Drink water, water quality, great, being hydrated, better, you know what I mean? So do the best you can in the moment, best you can in the moment, drink it from plastic, chlorine, whatever, just do what you can in the moment, stay hydrated, drink enough, so you're pissing clear 10 times a day, Save your life, save your health, become strong, lean and fit, and forget the wackos. It's the phone. Hello? Yes, it's Darren Ryder. You want me to do a, uh, a YouTube response to uh, the vegetarian myth? Yeah, I can do that today. No worries, mate. Yeah, you... Okay, yeah, how hard are they doing, man? Did they get shipment of bananas I sent through? Just let... Hey, man, let, let me talk business off the camera, man. I don't want this on the... I don't want this on the net, man. Let's keep it on the lowdown, eh? Just peace. So you can eat... You can eat death? Well, you can eat fun. This is what we're into. We're eating fun. This is dates, dried banana, black sapote, and organic banana, and a couple of blueberries for the eyes. Sweet. This for everybody. Uh, I'm using a dehydrator, which never cooks anything above 150 degrees. Those are pancakes? They're ocean pancakes. They're great. They look like you, you cut them off uh, an elephant's legs. I'm not eating that. It's good for you. What is this? What is this? A scab? scab? It's a dehydrated banana. What happened to a normal banana? You peel a banana and you eat it. The kids will love it. It's fun, man. It doesn't go bad all day. You slice it up really Oh, bad. I see what you do with it. I know. Maybe you're right. This is good. Yeah. Is that what you meant for? You could do that. I guess oh, you could. Well, I'd rather be hit by dehydrated fruit than a yep. processed <laughs> processed food. I'm just kidding around. So you think you're rich and you slap people dehydrated fruit? I don't think that. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs>